justice. As this card follows the traditional symbolism and carries above all its obvious meanings, there is little to say regarding it outside the few considerations collected in the first part to which the reader is referred. It will be seen, however, that the figure is seated between pillars like the high priestess, and on this account it seems desirable to indicate that the moral principle which deals unto every man according to his works, while, of course, it is in strict analogy with higher things, differs in its essence from the spiritual justice which is involved in the idea of election. The latter brings to a mysterious order of providence, in virtue of which it is impossible for certain men to conceive the idea of dedication to the highest things. The operation of this is like the breathing of the spirit where it wills, and we have no canon of criticism or ground of explanation concerning it. It is analogous to the possession of the fairy gifts, and the high gifts, and the gracious gifts of the poet. We have them or we have not and their presence is as much a mystery as their absence. The law of justice is not, however, involved by either alternative. In conclusion, the pillars of justice open into one world, and the pillars of the high priestess into another.